stream. I am beyond excited to do this live stream for you guys. This is our special Sims 4 Dream House episode 50 live stream. And you guys are the ones that suggested that I do a live stream. I am literally so, so nervous. Like, literally, my hands are shaking. But I know I've got you guys here supporting me. I've got your chat on the side. You guys are literally going insanely fast. I'm going to be checking by during the stream. I'm going to be answering your questions. If it's ever too loud, if the music is too loud, if the gameplay is too loud, please make sure you guys let me know in the chat. Ah! You guys are going so crazy. There's like so many comments coming by right now. Oh, I cannot wait to do this. So, episode 50 of Dream House. Dream House is, of course, the first Sims 4 series that we made. We built the Dream House, and then we actually lived in, I think it was this, the Daisy Hovel over here. We managed to save enough money to move into the Dream House, which is a big, beautiful house we live in now. It was definitely very, very hard to save that money, but when we did, we finally got in there. And then we've had 50 episodes in there. We've had four kids. We've had people move out, we've had boyfriends, we've had girlfriends, we've had grandbabies, we've had the whole shebang. But now it is time for Ali and Claire to finally take that next step and to become elders. So that's what we're going to be doing in this episode. Please make sure you hit that like button. We've already got 4,500 people watching, which is just absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. And guys, I hope you are ready because we are ready to play some Sims 4 Dream House. So guys, here we go. Here is our beautiful little neighborhood. Here is the daisy hovel that I said that we started in. Oh, a little teeny tiny house. You can still see our spaceship in the garden. And here is where we are now. Something I've actually... Oh, hello, Millie World 07. Thank you for commenting. Something that I uh, said to you guys in an episode is that Ali and I are looking for a real life house. And that's the inspiration for the Dream House series. That is the whole reason that we made this in the first place. And what I'm thinking is if we get Ali... <laughs> Ali, babe, what are you wearing? Why have you got a cowboy hat on? We're gonna have to be investigating that one as soon as we get into the house. But maybe when we find our real life house, I will build it in The Sims, and then we will have a new dream house, which will be our actual real life house. So if you guys want me to do that, please let me know in the comments below. Look, guys, I've got my little, uh, my little Sim Plum Bob on, ready to give me some good luck for the stream. And you guys are literally going crazy in that chat. I can barely keep up with you, but hello. I'm gonna try and pick out some names. Hello Gemma, hello Ruby, hello Sky, hello Nicola, hello Tiga, hello George, hello Zoe, hello Libby, hello Sophie. And here we go, guys! We're in the house! Okay, okay. I'm glad the game is paused because what on earth, what on earth is going on here? Ali has glasses on. He's got pink earplugs in. He's got a white, uh, like, like tracksuit on. He's got a cowboy hat on. He's got a pair of gloves and a bangle on. I don't know what he's doing. I'm very confused about this situation right here. I don't know why he's doing that. And then also, I'm not even really sure what Taylor's wearing because I'm pretty sure I didn't give him that outfit. Oh my gosh, you guys are commenting on my profile because you know I've gone live. Thank you guys so much. So, oh wow, Claire out of nowhere. Claire just appeared <laughs> out of absolutely nowhere. But here is all the people living in the dream house right now. So. Uh, this episode, uh, we have a lot of things planned. We are gonna give Ali and Claire that chance to renew their vows. When uh, James and Salma got married, I'm gonna try and get nobody's name wrong this episode. Oh my gosh, you guys are crazy on the profile, crazy on the profile. So, I'm gonna try and get uh, James and Salma. Oh gosh, hello! I've got away from uh, my gameplay. Please let me know if it does that again, guys. Hopefully it won't. Hopefully it's gonna stay on here. Hopefully it will stay on here. So, uh, I'm gonna get Ali and Claire to finally, finally <laughs> tie the knot and actually um, do it. Well, not finally tie the knot. Finally, finally renew their vows. They've wanted to do this since James and oh. Salma Rooney got married. So this is going to be their opportunity to do so. I'm so sorry it flicked off there, guys. I have my transition set up so I can change between the stream. But it is the same buttons that I use to actually uh, change time in The Sims. So that's going to be a bit, a little bit of an issue. So I am just going to quickly pop on and remove that. So check that out, guys. You know, you are luckily not going to be getting that again, and it should stay just on the gameplay. 
Also, for you guys that um, are watching at home, you guys that aren't watching it as a live stream, any questions that I answer in the live chat, I will say. So you're not going to be watching this as a, um, as a non-live viewer and not get a good experience. You, you guys are going pretty crazy. <laughs> pretty crazy on the profile there. I literally can't keep up with the notifications. So, Claire and Ali are going to be renewing their vows. I've had a little think. I was thinking, should we do it at the house? Should you do it in a new location? But then I also yeah. thought where James and Salma really got married is where Clara and Ali decided that they were going to be renewing their vows. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ali, can you not? I literally know. Can you not? Please, let's let's just change this outfit because it's ridiculous. Please, please get back into the... Ali showing me up in the stream, guys. He knew I was going to be streaming and he's trying to be embarrassing to me. So, uh, of course, Ali, Ali and Claire, I'm kind of thinking I go back to... I think it's... um. Like a chalet house, it's the beautiful house where James and Selma Rooney tied the knot and we do it there. So what's... Guys, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. It's 2 a.m. in the morning. What are you freaks doing, okay? Get to see... I'll tell you what. Wait, let's, let's do some little woo-woos for them, you know, because it's a big day for them and whatnot. You guys, it's not even special for you. You've, you're not even... You're just fiancés at the moment. It's less special for you guys, so you just need to go to sleep, okay? Everybody, please get your butts to sleep or to woo woo win. I don't care what you do, but it's 3 a.m. in the morning. It's just. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this going on right now, you guys. Live woo woo win. Claire and Ali have no shame. No shame at all. Thank you guys for the profile comments. Oh my gosh, okay, so thank you so much. Oh, Dylan Glover, thank you so much for the donation. I love you, Claire. Dylan, I love you too. I love all of you guys. Thank you very much for that uh, little donation there. Oh my gosh, the chat, the chat is going literally insane. Uh, I mean, I'm trying to get a question from you guys, but it's going a little bit crazy at the moment. But it's, oh my gosh, what the? It's morning time. <laughs> it's morning time. No, it's not. It's not morning time. You guys, stop showing me up, okay? We're on a live stream. Stop this foolishness and please go to bed. Okay, I think what I'm gonna have to do just for this episode is if there's a way to turn off these little guys in the corner. Because as much as I love you guys and as much as I love it, when you uh, when you chat, we're gonna be here in that episode for the whole of the episode if we're not careful. So, I'm really sorry. Oh, oh it's still going on right now. I'm really sorry, but I am gonna be switching you guys off. And we'll check up on all your comments. In fact, why don't we make it up by having a quick look? Oh, you guys are coming on the Smith family and on my profile. I have a quick, a quick little cheeky check. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> I'm from the live stream. Thank you guys so, so much. But I don't want to have that little noise all the way through the live stream because I think it might get a little bit annoying for everybody else. So it's a Tuesday. It is a Tuesday. I'm gonna have a quick check on what the work rotor is for everybody. Claire is on her second job now. Remember when Claire used to be a social media star? Now she does the fine arts. She's actually got work today as well. Ali has work in the evening. Yo, oh, little Taylor Rooney doesn't have work for two days. And then little Emlarino doesn't have work for three days. So actually, from their point of view, it is the perfect, perfect time to get married because these guys won't be pulled off to work. And these guys could actually call in sick. But you know what we have to do before we actually do the tight. I keep saying get married. It's not, guys. It's renewing their vows, which is a little bit different. So what we... Click, 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 click. Oh, Crazy you? clicks. Crazy clicks there. Oh my gosh, Commander Jane Shepard. How did you... Uh, how do you get Ali and Claire to not age up this time in these 50 episodes with their kids growing up? A game mechanic, I don't know, or a cheat? It wasn't that. Um, thank you so much for the donation, Commander Jane Shepard. I see your Mass Effect reference and I respect it and I like it a lot. So what it actually was is you can buy a potion. Uh, I think I'll show you where actually. Reward store. So what I did for both Ali and Claire is I bought them the potion of youth here, which allowed them to extend their adulthood. So if I actually go into my little Simlarinos here, they actually have 58 days until aging up, but they are both cheated. Basically, because it's me and Ali, I found it really, really hard. Like I got, I, I found it too hard to just age them up and forget all about it. Instead, I, I had to actually just keep them young for longer because once you age them up, you can't really control when they die. You can give them a nice life, so you can try and minimize it, but you can't control when they die. And I got quite worried about that. So that is the reason that I did it. That's the reason I kept them alive for a little bit longer. I'm struggling to let go. Look, Ali's flay. Where is he? Just being flay and whatnot. So 
Actually, one last question. Uh, this is going to be an awesome stream. Also, hope you get into the Throne of Glass book soon, as I mentioned on Twitter. Hello, Lady Grey Wolf. So I chatted with her on Twitter. If you guys didn't catch on Twitter, I have become quite, quite obsessed with um, a book series that starts with a, a Court of Thrones, no, a Court of Thorns and Roses. It's amazing. I want to make the Paradise and the Sims for you guys. Um, but I mentioned on Twitter, I finished it last night and I'm really sad. So, I've got into Create a Sim, guys, because we have to get these guys their little outfits ready for the wedding. And as beautiful as this is, it's not nice enough to get married in. So, Ali, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, is it Tucks and Tails? Tucks and Tails? Something and Tails? Basically, Tails. Tails is what I'm thinking that I need to be doing. So, I want to get him like a properly nice little outfit like this. I'm kind so, so. of liking the grey. We've got red, very jazzy, white. I don't know, there's this as well. No, oh no, no, I hate that. Hate that so much. Okay, I'm thinking this for Ali is probably gonna be the best wedding look for him. Guys, enjoy the face. Enjoy the face because soon he will be old. Enjoy it while you can. Drink it in. I don't want my, I don't want my little beautiful husband to be old, but he's gonna be Claire. Next up is you. You guys asked why she had um, her red hair in the thumb. It's just the filters I used on the thumbnail. Claire is definitely still replicating the real life Claire colors. Okay, so wedding dress time, you guys. So let's go through the whole collection. So let's go through, even through the Maxis ones because this, this is the kind of stuff Maxis gives us. And although it actually does look very a Court of Thrones, uh, uh, Thorns and Roses, it's not really right to get married in. It gives us some pretty stuff, but I didn't like any of the- imagine, imagine. I'm just going for a 20 style wedding. Imagine. That's what um, Salma Rooney wore to a date once with James. Ah! So much beautiful rich history. So there's a few different wedding dresses. This one I think is lovely, but it's not quite showy enough. We need something a little bit more. Oh my gosh, some Tuba chats that I want to catch up on. Dylan says, biggest fan, smiley face. Thank you, Dylan. We've got Robert Ragnarok, 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 who says, hey, Claire, I've watched the whole series twice and I love you also if you're struggling to read the chat. Use the slow chat thingy. Should have switched that on beforehand. Thank you, anyway, and thank you so much for your donations. Okay, this is a fun name to pronounce. Iosef Andre Ke... Cassetti, please let me know if I said that right. Said Sims Queen, you're the best YouTuber in the whole world. Thank, I'm gonna play, you lose the music when I read the chart, but thank you guys so, so much. Honestly, we have over 7,000 people watching us right now, which is just like, if you guys watch my mind blow in the last episode of Slime Rancher, it just blew again. I'm trying to get rid of some of these charts. So we have this dress, which like when you do this, really, really beautiful, pretty dress. But then when you zoom out, it's like, it just goes poof. Like, it's too much poofing. Why are you too much poofing for my liking? So, what other dresses do we have? Oh, this is that so It looks great on Claire as well, to be fair. But that is, um, like, little Emma Larino's, uh... Em Emily, I actually got her name right. I didn't call her Emma. Oh, no, she's wearing that for now. I'll tell you why she's wearing that in just a moment, you guys. But this isn't really suitable for a wedding. So what else do we got? Not really wedding-y enough. Uh, not really wedding enough. Okay, so this is the dress that Claire was wearing on the thumbnail. This is so, so the dress I want Claire to get married in because it is a beautiful dress sent from the angels, sent from the angels for Claire to wear. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. However, do you guys remember when we tried this with Salma? Whenever I exited this mode, the dress went red or black. I don't know why it did it, but it glitched mm. out. We do have a few other options though. Again, another Maxis one. In fact, ooh, they're almost the same, but they're not quite. Another Maxis one there. This one, which Salma wore. I love this dress. Like, you guys always say, would Claire, do you and Ali want to get married? We, d we do, <laughs> we do. I would wear a dress like this. Like that kind of, like, I just think it's beautiful and classy and gorgeous. And it gives me little shivers, guys. It gives me little shivers. No, no. We have this one as well. Again, very pretty. Oh, Claire's wearing black shoes. No black shoes with a red dress. We've got this one as well that's really, uh -huh. really nice. What else do we have? No, uh, not really wedding -y enough. Not really wedding enough. I think it's kind of between. I, uh, 
no, not wedding enough. Okay, I think it's between this one, this one, and this one. So I'm gonna let you guys digest and see which one you ah. guys are thinking as well. So, I, I need to say some numbers. Okay, one is this, two is this, and then three is this. Okay, spam the chat with your numbers right now. Spam the chat, guys, so that I know. In the meantime, I'm gonna read some of your beautiful comments. <gasps> 7,000 people watching, only 3,000 rights, Robert says. Like, guys, give it some likes. Give it some likes if you're enjoying the live stream. We've got Jack Davis says, I love this series so much. What are your future plans? Are you aiming for Claire and Ali to move out into the dream house and get a bungalow? As oh, I saw three, three, one, three, one, 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 one. Okay. A one, one, one. Okay, guys. I'm kind of seeing a lot of ones. So one is this dress eh, wait no it's not it's this dress there we go so you guys are thinking number one i agree i would like to use this dress this is definitely the dress that i want to use so i'm kind of thinking we'll exit and we'll see if this works if this works we'll wear this dress okay now we need some hair and makeup for claire claire enjoy that youth enjoy that youth because it's gonna be going soon it is gonna be going soon so I love, love, love this hair. Like, I think it's the perfect wedding hair. I don't know if any of the colours are very clary, but I think that hair is just so damn pretty. Like, I think I would I would have that as my wedding hair. I really, really like that. Sorry about this. This is going crazy. Okay, what other hairs do we have? I kind of think for a wedding, you should have your hair tied up because it shows the dress off a little bit more. I don't know. That's just what I'm thinking. Oh my gosh, some more suggestions for the dress though. Some more suggestions. So you guys asked uh, whether we're going to move out of the dream house and get a bungalow. What I'd actually like to do is move them into the house that Ali and I actually buy and move into. If they live long enough. I'd also like to, <laughs> I'd also like to do it as um, when the pets DLC comes out so I can move them into the new pet neighbourhood. So what other comments do we have? If you get a chance later, please check yours and Ali's Xbox Live messages for a Sims 4 pack code. Omega Regnable, thank you so, so much. I will definitely, definitely give it a little bit of a chat. You guys are being awesome with the super chats. Can I just say, thank you guys so much. And then cheese girls, please do more live stream and seeing your videos in my sub box always makes me very happy. Guys, my aim in life is to make you guys smile. So the fact that that makes you happy, makes me happy. Okay, so that's one hair suggestion. There is this one with the plaits, but again, I don't, I don't really know if any of it is quite the right hair colour. And I'm not, although I do have these wispies, I don't want to be seeing them on my sim. Like, no, go, go away with those, please. A little bit crazy, a little bit, no. See, this is quite wedding-y. This is quite red wedding-y. We could go with this. Uh -huh. Okay, so if we're saying this is option number one, here, no, here. Mm. One is this hair. And then two is this hair, but but brown. Me, there's this option too. There is this option too. That could be number three. Okay, one, two, or three. Let me know in the comments right now. One, two, or three. Please let me know, guys. Which one are you guys thinking? Which one are you guys thinking in the comments? Please let me know. Please let me know. I'm gonna be keeping a little cheeky eye out. On your comments so I can see which one you're thinking. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of ones. One, 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 one. The ones are going crazy. Crazy with ones. Okay, I think it has to be number one. I think it's gonna have to be number one on the hair. Let's have a look. Which one was it? Look at the picture. Look if you look at her with blonde hair, she looks like a beautiful snow elf. But I have brown hair, so as much as I would love to have that hair colour, I am gonna switch her back to her brown hair. Makeup wise, I'm thinking her makeup is actually pretty, pretty perfect. I'm gonna have a quick look at the lips. Uh, see, this is the bit I edit out for you guys when I deliberate over every single decision for 10 years. I make it so that you guys don't have to see that. Look, I've got these lips where they open a little bit and show her teeth. But it doesn't make that much difference on me because I don't, my sim doesn't have big lips because I don't have big lips. I'm kind of thinking a little bit more color though. <gasps> okay, and then finally the necklace. Let's just quickly change up her necklace a little bit. Um, should we give her a little tiny? Mm. I feel like I'd be the kind of person that would wear a choker on my wedding day, just saying. So I don't think it's too outlandish to give her a choker necklace. No, Claire. No, you can't wear that 
Okay, I'm gonna give her like a little white choker. Maybe a little white and rose gold. A little white. <gasps> See, I think that's pretty. What do you guys think? Choker or no choker? I am spying the chat right now to see what you guys think. Sarah Jones says thank you for your videos. Thank you for watching my videos, Sarah. Thanks to all of you for watching my videos. Almost 8,000 of you guys are watching this video right now. I am blown away, you guys. So, please say choker or no choker in the chat now. While you guys are getting ready to do that. So, there's a reason that Emily is wearing this dress. This dress. I sneaked on before I started this episode and I put it on Emma, on Roxy, and on Jessie. Ah. Did you see me get those names right, guys? All of those girls have this dress as their formal dress. So fingers crossed, choker, 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 choker. Mm. You guys are, are enjoying the choker. It's a bit of a mix, but I think in general you're enjoying the choker. So all of the girls are going to be wearing this dress. Fingers crossed they are. Okay, let's do a quick check on Taylor's formal outfit. Taylor, no. It is a wedding, friend. You will go in something like this, but maybe a bit more black. Oh, Taylor, that's quite handsome. What do we think? I think that's quite a handsome look. I wish you had it with a white shirt. No, you can't wear green for a wedding. Oh, the Sims on this don't have like enough, uh, enough swagger about them. It's a wedding, you need to dress up. Of course, he could also go for this. Yeah, okay, we're thinking that. I'm gonna quickly change his little shoerinos to some uh, black ones. Oh, no, no, are they, they're kind of black. He needs some, he needs some socks on as well. No, socks! Where am I, where's my socks? Okay, because you need some black socks inside. There we go. So, <laughs> we've got Emily in her beautiful bridesmaid's dress. We've got Taylor in his handsome tuxedo. We've got Claire, fingers crossed, cross everything you've got, guys. I'm, I wanna be seeing this action to make sure that this dress is gonna work. I'm not sure if it is. And then we've got handsome Ali. Okay, you guys are excited. You like you like the options we've got there. Robert commented with a super chat comment and said ten pounds. So I'm sorry, guys, but he gets it. He gets it. Robert has decided choker. So there we go. Ah, they're all ready. They're all ready for the big day. You guys don't understand the stress, though. You don't understand the stress of trying to make these things go without the, without hitch live. Sometimes when I record like a big event, like a wedding or something, I am able to, um, like if it doesn't go right, I can just be like, okay, skip that bit out of the recording. We'll try it again. And I re-record the wedding bit if it doesn't go right. Say like, if a sim doesn't turn up or if, if it just goes all crazy and weird. The music goes, I hope you're doing this at home. Um, but if I'm live, my, my, I'm actually not my pillow down doing that. If I'm live, obviously I can't do that, you guys. I don't get a second chance to try and do that. So ev cross everything, because everything has to go without a hitch. It has to go without a hitch. So, it is 8 a.m. I need to make sure everyone's happy. Okay, Emily's happy. Uh, Ali is hungry and <laughs> wee, so he's not happy. Okay, <laughs> Ali, why don't you cook everybody? Um, let's eat some spinach frittata for our breakfasts. Taylor's happy and Claire is happy. Okay, Claire and Ali, please can you call in sick into work? Where am I going? What am I doing? Okay, mobile phone. Here we go. We need to call in sick. No working today. Call in sick. Take a vacation day. There we go. Oh, Ali, you're I also going to be taking a vacation day from your tech guru job. Actually, pro gamer. Pro gamer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ali, what the hell? Ali has just done a super chat for 500 pounds, which is ridiculous. But thank you so much, baby. Thank you so much. I think, although my gener my donation wasn't quite as generous, but I uh, was watching Ali's live stream the other day and I donated to give him like major props. So he's done the same. Thank you, baby. We've got a few more super chats. We've got Steph Lap who says, we love your videos. We watch them over. And, uh, oh, we watch them over and over every night when we go to bed. You are such an awesome person. Steph, you are an awesome person. Thank you so much. Music Forever, as I just said, I just wanted to say you're my idol. Even if I am a little older than you, watching your Sims always cheer me up. Thank you so, so much. Like, you guys are literally amazing. And Silly the Dinosaur says, I've been watching this since episode one of the series and I absolutely love it. Thank you for making such great content. Thank you guys for watching my content. Oh, look! Jesse, Jesse is text. I heard you became friends with someone. Jesse, we're about to become extra friends with you because you're going to be coming to us renewing our vows. So, 
One of the inspirations for this as well, and one of the reasons I was so excited for this is because, like, the idea of getting to an age where you've had such a happy life together, you've got all these amazing grandkids, you've got this family that you love, and this house that you've worked really hard for, and life is just good. Life is just good. I mean, you've even got the bed going through the pool. Life in general is good. And then you get to that point where you renew your vows. You've always been so, like, faithful and true and in love with each other. That for me is like the goal of life. That makes me so happy that I wanted to make that the focus of this episode because that's what I want in life as well, guys. That is literally what I want in life. So this episode has to go well because it's my dream. It's my dream. That's, this was the point of the dream house all along. Ali's royalty report has come through, by the way. The Simularinos, the Simularinos 4 is on $18. Well done, Ali, you cute bird. I'm glad you've changed out of that strange hat combination you had going on. And look at him and Taylor. Dirk, uh, him and Taylor doing some cute little chit-chats to each other. Bluebee, Claire and Emily know. doing some little chit-chats to each other. Yeah. Everyone happy is happy. The day <laughs> is glorious. So, one thing I wanted to check. One thing I just wanted to check really quickly is if Claire can bake a wedding cake. Ha. Huh. So there's no specific... Wait, wow, Claire can bake a lot of stuff. Fair play to you, Claire. Fair play to you. But we could we could do a white cake. I might just I might just really quickly go and prepare a white cake. Ali, babe, did you do some eats? Please say you did some little eaties, okay? Where are you? Yes, you've done some eats. Everyone seems fairly happy. The urge to do the cheat to make everybody super happy and make sure the wedding goes on without a hitch. It's strong, guys. That is strong. But let's see how we get to that point. So. Claire's gonna quickly bake this. Oh, look at Emily do some little cleans. Don't you think, by the way, I always think this when, oh, hello, start bar. Whenever oh, I see Emily yeah. as a sim and she's got no makeup on and she's just like downstairs in her pajamas, I'm like, girl, you are beautiful. Like she looks the best without a, without a scrap of makeup on. She just looks like this gorgeous, amazing, beautiful angel. So Claire's gonna quickly, just quickly get this uh, little bake, little bake out the way. I will pop it in her inventory. I know she's gonna, she's gonna be trying to take a slice. I, wow, you have an awful lot of hoof prints uh -huh. in your inventory, Claire. I'm not even gonna ask. Okay, let's get that away. The Sims are always trying to take a slice of the cake before it is their time. And here we go, guys. We are gonna plan a social event. Arvini. I wonder if it will still be like a wedding if they're already married. I don't know. What, what are you doing? Okay. Oh, toddler play date. I'm gonna be doing that in the next episode of Broken Dream. Keep a little cheeky eye out for that. Just gonna quickly check on the super chats while I'm here. Uh, just see if any more came through. It's it's kind of going a little bit too crazy for me to keep an eye. You guys in the chat. Oh, okay. I'm gonna try and pause the chat for a sec, just so I can see some of the stuff that you guys have said. Oh, you Ali, you're so pretty. Sweet, sweet. And you guys are so adorable. Thank you. Sim Ali has the carefree trait. It's because he's a carefree, beautiful angel. What music do you do you use in Broken Sim? <laughs> in Broken Dream? Okay, Broken Sims. My Sim's gonna be broken if I don't kind of try and if I try and watch that chat for too long, my eyes are gonna be broken. So the music that I uh, use for all of it is in-game Sim music. So whenever you hear music in intro and outro, it's actually from the game. I think for um, Broken Dream is the alternative music track. So if you listen to them, you'll be able to hear it. So we want a where's wedding? Is there any new new vows that isn't? Okay, we want a wedding. Um, and then we need to wait. Why is it not letting me? Let me do it. Let me do the wedding. You must be engaged to get married. Okay. So what we're gonna have to do instead is, I guess, huh? So Claire's not engaged, so she can't do it that way. Could I do it as like um a dinner party in that way instead? I think um potentially we could do the dinner party option instead. Okay. Let's do. It. Let's just do it as a dinner party, just for ease' sake. Click to invite the host. I'm gonna make Ali the host. He can he can host this thing. We need guests, okay. So obviously, obviously, all my babies in the house are coming. Sorry, my nose is it's going crazy because when I'm nervous, my nose runs. <laughs> We've also got Charlie Parley Pudden and Pie, Jess Reno, James Akins, M Lorino, or Emily and uh, Emma. I did it, I said I wasn't gonna get anyone's name wrong. <laughs> Emma and Claire have a really good relationship now because Claire's been helping Emma out in a big way. And I think because of that, some really big things are going to happen in Broken Dream. So watch out for the next episode of Broken Dream.
Remember Jay Huntington the third? <laughs> Long time Sims fans, no Jay Huntington the third. Wow. Claire's on really good terms with this Zach guy. Not quite sure why. Okay, is that is that everyone in the family though? Like where's Roxy and everyone? <laughs> uh uh How can Claire not know Roxy? It's fine, because when I get there I can invite other Sims. But they're not gonna be dressed all nice. Huh. What is the best way to get around that? Okay, okay. Bend this, bend this, exit this, exit this. Emma, Emily. I'm duped, guys. The 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 walls have opened now. Everything's going crazy. Emma Lee, <laughs> do you know Roxy? Can you please invite her along? Yes, you do, Emily. <laughs> Emily, you absolute little star. You okay? We need to plan plan a big social event. Okay, you need to do it instead. You are the one in charge now. And please hurry up because it's twelve o'clock. We know how fast these things go. Okay. Do you like the little wine glass chink? Like a chink. Okay, invite some sims. One. Oh, he was the host. Okay, so he's coming anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, Emma Lee. Roxy. Um, has nobody met the new baby? Lilith! Oh, by the way, do you like you guys said you wanted Lilith's hair to be blonde again, so I gave her this really cute little hair. Uh, where is our new little adopted baby kins? There she is. Kira. Kira, yes, Kira is the way you pronounce her name. You guys taught me. Is there anybody else? Um, I think we should invite Haja as well. Um, I kind of want to keep it to like the babies that matter to me. And I think they are all the babies. I think that's it. Oh, wait. Almost forgot about Max. Oops. Okay, Max is invited as well. I've got some more little super chats just to catch up on. Uh, Animal Star says, hello, love all your videos, favorite YouTuber by far. Thank you so much, Animal. And then we've got it, Lida Tira says, thank you so much for your awesome content. You are a warm person. It's such a joy to watch your content. You can have a look at Labradoodles or Legatos for dog breeds if you are still looking. So, Ali is kind of, he's kind of made his decision on what dog breed it's going to be. But I don't want to ruin it for you guys. So, I'm not going to say it. That's Ali's decision. But we're pretty close to knowing what doggy breed we want to get. Oh, for God's sake! No! Okay! Back to the beginning and start again. We're gonna just... Can we just do it as like a... Does the house party have to be in a house? I'm thinking. Wait, Emily... Emily Emily can do it as a wedding. Okay, we're just gonna have to cheat and do it this way instead. They're gonna be the bride and groom. I know it's a little bit of a cheat. And they're gonna be a little bit disappointed when they don't actually get married. But bear with me, guys. That's the way we're gonna do it. Because there's no renew vow party. There should be a renew vow, a renew vow party. Okay. Oh, we probably should invite Max's sister, right? I mean, it just kind of seems like the fair thing to do. I think that's everybody. I think that's everybody. Wait, where's... Where's... Where's Salma? Where's my Salma Rooney? How can you not know Salma? Okay, we'll invite Salma along afterwards. She's your fellow bridesmaid. For God's sake, how can you not know her? Hire all the roles. We don't care how much we pay. We've got 16k. We're all good. We're hiring everyone. And then select the place. So, it's gonna be the same place that little Sal Marini and James got married. Where is it? Not there. Not there. Where's, where's my sh- my- where, where, what? There we go. The Shelley Gardens. It's funny because they're called the Shelley Gardens and in Harrogate there's an amazing place called the Valley Gardens which is near where my parents live. So it's like an extra cute little coincidence. Little corinky dink we've got there. Oh my gosh, over 8,000 of you guys now watching. Thank you guys so, so much. Salma! Salma! Don't worry! I'm not- I'm, nothing is happening without Salma. Nothing is happening without Salma. Salma is like my ultimate babe. She is definitely, definitely gonna be coming along. You guys don't even worry. You were worried about Salma. <gasps> I would never leave Salma, you guys. I would never ever leave Salma, so don't even worry. Okay, pause, pause, pause. Because I want to show you guys. I want to show you guys. I planned all this. I planned all this, and I was so excited to see you, uh, to show you guys. So, there's Jessie, but look at the bridesmaid dress. Babe, Emily, <laughs> Emily, babe, what's going on? What's going on? Let's change you into your actual outfit that you're meant to be in. Because it's not your wedding. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry, babe. But it's not your wedding. <gasps> Guys! Claire's dress has worked! Yes! Claire's dress has actually worked! I am so happy right now. <laughs> there we go. She, let, let's just show you. Okay. So watch bridesmaids wearing this like dark to red. And then baby bridesmaids. Baby bridesmaids wearing the exact same colour but for little babies. 
How freaking cute is that? And look, look at this. Charlie Rose gazing at Claire, looking a, a little bit high, I've got to say, but mainly very princess-like and beautiful. Emily needs the toilet. Well, now's the time to go because I need to make sure that everybody else is arriving. I also need to just check that it's actually going to let me renew my vows if it's somebody else's wedding. Yes. Thank you, sim gods and goddesses, the old gods and the new. Thank all of you, okay? So, Emily, why don't you take this opportunity to nip to the loo? There you go. You know what else I've done? I've taken down all of the, um, you know, like the, the stuff that was like blocking people from getting to places. So hopefully it can still work. So this is Salma's mum. I'm gonna now um, call Salma and invite her. Where is she? Where's my Salma? Where's the babe? Where, where's the baby? Where is she? <sighs> if I can't have Salma, I might actually Let's cry. Go. I can't, I can't have Even a wedding horror. without Salma. Somebody must know Zarba. Salma. What is wrong with you guys? Your family! If I can't have Salma, okay. It's for, oh, look at these cutie pies! <gasps> James and Charlie Rose taking a picture of themselves in their beautiful outfits. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. So, <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, so these guys have turned up as well. That's Max's um, sister. There is Emma in her bridesmaid dress. And also somebody with their new hair is little C Ch Kira in her dress as well. But there's no way I'm doing this without a Salma. It's weird because I feel like they've definitely met Salma. They've been round to her house. They've broken bread with her. They've definitely met her. So here is my little solution to get around that. Let's do a little bit of testing, cheats. Testing cheats on. I'm so good to do this, but if I um, add James to the family, there we go. And you know who knows Salma? S uh, little James does, mainly because it's his wife. So he can invite Salma around right now. Salma is going to be coming over to hang out with us as well. She will be right over. In the meantime, what I'm going to do really quickly is I'm going to add everybody to the group because otherwise. Sometimes a scary thing can happen. What? You... Introduction to Roxy, friend you live with. Oh, oh no, it's Ali. It's Ali. Okay. Uh, otherwise, people can float off and just leave. Guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, wait, wait, your little cutie kins. Look at her new hair. How cute is her new hair? I put it back to blonde. Hopefully, you guys like it. I see a new super chat. I plan my Saturday around this. Emma and Max ship are here. <gasps> Emma and Max. Emma and Max. The craziness that is Emma and Max together. Do should they last? Should they? Oh wow! <laughs> Hashar is mad at Jesse. How can you be mad at Jesse? Okay, I think um, who probably knows everybody? I need to basically. I need to get a group. I need to get a group going on right now so that nobody can just slip away into the night. Add in all these babies to my group. Add to the group. Um, am I on the right person? Please let me know, by the way, what you think of all the uh, the wedding dresses and stuff. I'm hoping that you like them all. I'm definitely hoping that you like all the bridesmaid dresses. Or oh, okay, intro introduction to her. All the bridesmaid dresses, all the wedding dresses. Look, I love this. I love just how everybody interacts. Like Emma and Max. You know, we say that they aren't the best couple, but look at this. The idea of going to a wedding has got them all loved up and happy. And you can't argue with that, guys. You can't argue with that kind of love. I don't know. Selma! Selma, babe! Where are you at? James, is your wife here? Where is your wife? She will be right over. I can't see her butt anywhere. I want to see Selma's butt right now. Where is she? Selma! What are you doing? Work for James starts in about an hour. <laughs> I'm glad I've had you to my family because... Oh. You cannot take a vacation while there's an event. Well, he's not going to work, guys. He's not going to work. Please don't worry about that. <gasps> She's here! Hooray! Here she is. Okay, I'm going to quickly just uh, add her to the family as well. So that I can switch her into her beautiful bridesmaid dress. Come on, show me your dress, Selma. Because nobody looks beautifuler than Salma in a red dress. Because you own that colour. That colour is yours. Boom! There she goes. All the bridesmaids looking like the ultimate babes. Okay. 
I think it's time we get everybody to the top of this lot. This is the reason we wanted to get married here, guys. Because it's so beautiful. It is the most beautiful place that you can get to go to get married. Someone just asked, can I burp on command? Fun fact, I can't burp at all. I can't burp at all. I don't know what it is, guys, but I've just never been able to burp. I just can't. I just can't. I try so hard, but I can't burp. I just don't have that ability. So there's a little fun fact, Rooney, for you guys. Don't go, don't go there and protest, okay? Everybody head up here, please. <gasps> Didn't we have somebody playing the violin on James and Salma's wedding? Wasn't it James? James played the violin as everybody was approaching. Do you guys remember that? Do you remember how cute that was? I almost did an in real life little cry when that happened. Annalise says, loving your first live stream. Thank you for all your hard work and for making such amazing content. I'm so, so glad that you guys enjoyed this. Someone just said, bring Dia. You know what? I've never once turned down a challenge. Let's see if she will come along. So, I've asked people to come here. The thing is, there's going to be some people. Oh, wow. <gasps> Claire's coming in her wedding dress. The bridesmaids are jogging. They are literally jogging their way down there. And so oh, wow. Uh, take, take leave, James. You're staying... Your butt is staying with, with me. I was going to say your butt is staying with mine, but that makes no sense at all. Here we go. This is their final time to be young and beautiful together. <laughs> so, Sailor doing little sideways runs. Did you see that? How cheeky of him. How cheeky. Okay, everybody's filtering down here, including... <gasps> it makes me want to do a little crawl. I know she's she has the evil within her skin. But she's so damn cute that I don't even care. I don't even care. I don't even care. Oh my gosh. Did you see her fringe disappear then? Can I add her to the group? Please, all of group members. Please, can you do what you are supposed to be doing? And head down to watch this beautiful wedding ceremony, okay? Everybody get... Oh, I can't, I can't tell you to come here. Oh, <laughs> look at Je Roxy. What is Roxy even doing? Roxy, please, butt down here right now, okay? Max! Max! Oh, I don't know you well enough to drag your butt here, but if I did, I would. <sighs> okay. I think we've at least got a lot of people ready to come and watch the ceremony. I love them all dressed up. Like, I literally love them all being dressed up and gorgeous uh, and beautiful. James is inviting me to invite him. And we're gonna get ready to do this ceremony. The, the thing that's quite sad is the sun has kind of... The sun isn't gonna be quite there, but it's still gonna be beautiful, guys. So... Just gonna check in on the chat for you guys. Cambria says you need to add everybody to the group. My group has a limit. And I also invite the nanny. The nanny's not a very good nanny though. Sometimes she lets my children starve. And she just leaves them. I'm glad you guys think Lilith looks adorable. I've added as many people as I can to the, uh, to the group. But the thing that blocks you is one, the number of people. But two, also, it is um, if you know them or not. So if you're not introduced to them, Jerry even if you've Tina. done chinny chats ah. with them, <laughs> you have to be introduced. <laughs> okay, so Jen, just see what do you think you're going, my love. So let's get everybody to make sure that they are here. Who is the group master? Who is the group master? Who are you? Show yourself. Show yourself, group master. Uh, okay, everybody, everybody here, please. Everybody here. Okay. Jesse, Jesse, where are you going? Okay. Guys, you stay where I tell you to. Oh, do you need to wee? Fine. Rude. We'll wait for Taylor to do a wee, guys. I don't want him weeing on my wedding ceremony, if you get my drift. I don't want any wees during the wedding ceremony. So everybody needs to stay here. For Roby, for Zeke. I love them all dressed up. Look at James. Can we talk about how much of a babe James, my firstborn, my beautiful, kind firstborners. There we have his sister, Jessie, his little sister. Both of them looking like, if I had children as beautiful and wonderful and as good looking as this, I would be a very happy person. I would definitely be a very, very happy person. Okay, guys, you need to stop, you need to stop running away. Everybody needs to get their butts here right now, okay? Let's get everybody here. Everybody come, everybody come, everybody come, okay. Don't just fantasize about weddings. <gasps> Why are you only got the option to fantasize about weddings? Why can't you renew your vows? Oh. Guys, guys, I don't know if it's because... Oh no! I don't know if it's because it's their wedding. 
that they can get married. Your fiance Sim isn't around. Or maybe it's because Ali isn't there. Ali, come here quick. No! You guys! You guys! I can't let them get married! It's not saying I can fantasize. It's not saying I can renew their vows. They can only do fantasizing. Why is this? Do I have to like, uh... Oh, I wonder. I wonder if I built a new arch. It's a bit cheesy, guys. Is it under arch? I wonder if I just built a new arch, if it would let me do it that way instead. I'm kind of liking this red one. And I put it here. Let's try it. No! Why are you being so mean, Sims? You could do it before. I tell you what, only, only these guys can get actually... Oh no, you guys! What do we do? They cannot review their vows. Everything! Everything came to this moment. And I can't renew my vows. I can't renew them. Guys, what do we do? What do we do? I don't know the solution. I don't know what the solution is. I'm thinking everybody would have to go back. <gasps> unless. Unless I end the social event. Guys. No! Why can't you renew your vows? Why can't you do it? Is it because you're in a group? Guys, I don't understand. They could renew their vows before, but they can't do it now. I don't really understand what the dealio is there. This, this is the saddest day of all days that's ever been. Because the Sims won't let me, it won't let me do it. Okay. New plan. Everybody head home. It's very sad. Everybody head your butts home right now. We're gonna try something else. We're gonna try something else. It may have to be a little dream house one instead. Bear with me, cheekies. Nobody wanted this to happen. Nobody wanted this to happen. But you know what? It might be a nice... There's not gonna be a huge amount of episodes left in the dream house. And it is a dream house special. So this might be our solution instead. I don't know if maybe they have to be in the flirty mood to do that. I don't know. It's fine. I will plan it as a house event instead. That's what I'm gonna have to do. There's gonna be a renew- There's gonna be a wedding! Don't you guys worry, there's gonna be a wedding. I'm gonna drink some peach juice because peach juice gives me good luck and makes me feel better. <sighs> what were you guys saying? Maybe it's because I had the cheat. Maybe it's because I did the cheat. I don't know. Okay. Hold your horses. We know there's a beautiful area that can be made into a wedding spot. Although I'm kind of thinking just like out here in the open would be really nice as well. Let's get the arch back. Look at Lapras just chilling there. Like, he failed. Okay. Let's get the wedding arch back. We said we like this one. And let's just temporarily, let's do like um, a little bit of an angle. There we go. Let's just temporarily pop it here. And let's see if they can do it now. Oh no, you, you don't have any wedding vows to renew. <gasps> yes! Okay! 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 Guys, calm your horses! Whatever horses you had, you can calm them back now again. I'm gonna quickly make everybody happy. Because, um, it wasn't fair what happened to me, okay, you guys? You know what? James is still here. He's like, why am I part of this family again? I'm not even complaining because this family's awesome, but still. Kind of weird! Kind of weird! Claire, let's make you happy as well. Oops, I've actually gently clean it. Why have you got spoiled food? Okay. Make you happy too. Where's little Emily? I've made her happy. Okay, is everybody going to be happy? Oh, poor little Taylor outside. Okay, make him happy as well. We're going to do it as an event instead. Let's make things a little bit more romantic and whatnot. Because these lights are going to come on. But I kind of want some like um some nice little pretty outdoor lighting. A spooky light? No, we're not doing spooky lights. Guys, calm yourselves. No spooky lights will be happening, okay? No spooky lights. Maybe some of these little cutie pie lights. <gasps> okay, let's do one of these at either side. And then flowers. We need gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Where's the gorgeous flowers at? Let's just go to straight up decorations. Decorations. Beautiful flowers. Beautiful flowers. <gasps> What's the most beautiful flowers of all? Okay, I'm gonna do uh, move, move objects. Oh, BB? Is 
so I can put things really close together. That's how I do it, guys. That's how I made Dream House with this cheat. Oh, cause look at that. How pretty is that? Let's get another one of those. And let's get some of these little, maybe have like these as well. <laughs> am I going a bit crazy? I don't know, maybe I am. And then um, petals, petals on the floor. Yes, yes, yes. <gasps> Romantic petals, make them a little bit bigger. I want like um, loads of them. I want them like, um, like, like this, all the way out. All beautiful petals. They're ready for people to watch. Watch how gorgeous the wedding is. And then can I get some candles, please? Because you need ca- well, I don't want a painting of candles. I want some actual candles. Um, oh, yes, they're pretty. Okay, let's get some of these little uh, little guys in as well. Oh, yes. Oh. This is how we make up for it, guys. We do the most beautiful wedding the dream house has ever known. And we just do it that way instead. That's how we do it. Can I put a candle on a table? No, oh, I want a little table candle. Lighting. Oh my gosh, it's a Sims Plum Bob! Ah! I want it! I want it on here, okay. Sims Plum Bob lighting. Oh, I'm ready for those guys. Okay, so it's go we're gonna do a nighttime wedding instead. Sometimes nighttime weddings can be beautiful and glorious, you guys. So, we decided that James was the best one to do the wedding because he knows everyone. So James, it's time to organize an event. Let's just check everybody is a happy bunny. Happy bunny, happy bunny, happy bunny. Happy bunny, happy bunny, happy bunny. All the bunnies are happy. That's what we want to see, you guys. <gasps> Let's just see. God, so why does... Uh, I'm trying to read your comments, but they're so fast. I don't want Dreamhouse to leave. Lilith should be the flower girl. Lilith is definitely the flower girl. You guys also said, who is my favorite um, romantic aura? Guys, that's such a good idea. That's such a good idea. Yeah. Yes, here we go. Okay, let's get rid of... Um, let's get rid of this one. And let's change it to romantic aura. You cheekies, you always know. You always... Ooh, nearly moved the table. You always know the best plan. Okay. Gems. Gems, oh, open your phone. Open your phone. Um, Plan a social... Ev oh, maybe I shouldn't do it as a social event. Maybe I should just straight up do it as a hangout. Maybe... Um, But then I can't set a dress code. Can I? Uh, uh, I don't, I don't want to risk doing it again. But I want everybody in their beautiful dresses. Ah, guys, what would you do? I still, I'm going to still plan it as an event. I think, because then I think it will let me do it as a formal event. Um, Where's like a dance party? Uh, oh guys, I'm scared. Where's, where can I set the dress code? You used to be able to do that in the previous Sims. Uh, no, I'm not going to risk it, guys. I am not going to risk it. I'm going to plan it as a social event and do it that way instead. Everybody who needs beautiful clothes has got beautiful clothes. We've got another... James, please, can you do some some calls instead of chats, please? Great to see your live stream. I love your Sims. Famalam. Famalam, yes. I love that I stumbled across your account way back when you first described special edition. Keep up your good work, Claire. That's from Rachel. Thank you so much. Oh, it might be Raquel. Rachel or Raquel. Rachel, I think. And then Kakao Otto. That's a hard name to say. Gave $10 as well. Thank you, guys. So, oh my gosh, I'm spitting up. <laughs> so, no, I said I wasn't going to do fun. <laughs> <laughs> Invite Sims to hang out. Okay, so. We, I'm going to invite the main bays first. One, two, three. Um, who else do we have? Roxy. Perfect. Emma. James doesn't know Max. We'll have to invite him separately. Huh, Penny. <laughs> I don't think so, Penny. Also, do you remember? I can't even remember who it was then. But do you remember when we first played? That sim used to always try and chat with Ali. I can't remember what she was called, but I'd made a whole episode dedicated to saying bye-bye. Bye-bye, whoever you are. Okay, so we've got all our sims invited. I wish I could set a dress code. And then we also need to invite Max. I think it was potentially Emily that knew Max. So maybe she can invite Max along. Do you know Max? <gasps> Lilith, you know Lilith? Yes, you do. See, I think when Max is all dressed up, it's a very handsome looking individual. I think that's everyone. 
I think we've got everybody that needs to come. I think that's everyone. Okay. Sure. Jennifer! Yes, you guys in the chat remembered. <laughs> bye bye, Jennifer. We've not seen hair nor tail of Jennifer since. I don't even know if Ali still knows her. Oh, Jennifer. You guys remembered. Wow. You guys are awesome. Where is she? Does she even exist? She doesn't even exist anymore. She doesn't even exist anymore. Everybody is coming over. Unfortunately, they're not going to be all dressed up. Rico the nanny is there as well. Oh, look at these cuties. Did you see them just do a little kissing? We've had some more donations. Hello. Thank you for all your amazing sim videos. This is Kakaoka again. <laughs> Kinsia channel, thanks for watching Ali's Pokemon Go videos. But now your sim videos are what I look forward to every day. Slauncha, which is cheers in Gaelic. Thank you so, so much. I'm really glad you're enjoying the stream. Oh my gosh. Look at the nanny. Comes round and starts busting out some moves like that. Okay. People are here, but they're not dressed up. Can I ask to see outfit? Because that is a thing you can do now. That is definitely a thing that you can do. Uh, is it a friendly interaction? Ask to see outfit. Guys, this is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to do it. This is how we do it. Okay. <laughs> I can't sing. I apologize. I apologize for that, you guys. So let's get everybody back into their formal digs. I don't know why your hair is that colour. I think it's like the curse of that house. That people's hair changes to be a strange colour. But it just does, okay guys? It just does. So let's ask everybody to show us their beautiful... What am I doing? Ask everybody to show us their beautiful formal outfits, please. This is a formal event, cheekies. I know we didn't put it on the door. But it is. It is a formal event. Add everybody to my little grouping. Add to group. Claire, you're going to be added to my group as well. I know you're my wife, but you're still going to be in my gang, okay? Add to group. Who else is arriving? Oh, Emma. Emma, babe. Why are you so sad? Why are you so sad? I'll tell you what, Claire. Why don't you go ask to see a nicer outfit? <laughs> ask to see a nicer outfit. Who's in a flirty mood? <gasps> Claire is very flirty, you guys. Flirtiness from Claire. Look at this beautiful little arena here. Roxy, please, can I see a nicer outfit from you? Not enjoying that particular outfit, I'm afraid. I know it's very nice, but it just isn't right. It just isn't. Where is my option gone? More options, friendly. Ask to see outfit formal. <laughs> I don't know if this is gonna work, you guys. I'm really hoping it will. I really just want everybody to look all beautiful and formal. I guess if they don't, it's not the end of the world. It's just very sad. It's just very sad. That's all I'm saying. Oh, another comment. This guy, hello from Texas. Fortunately, the non-water uh, the non-water inundated area. So unfortunately, the gas shortage area. Love your videos. And that is from this guy. Honestly, if you're watching and you're from Texas, like thinking of you guys, I know it's a very stressful and crazy time there at the moment. I hope everybody that is uh, watching my videos and is from Texas, and even if people aren't watching my videos, obviously, and are from Texas, are doing well. That's all I'm saying. I hope you guys are doing well and sending my thoughts to you guys. So, can we please get everybody outside? Look at James earning 2K on his day off and sending it to our family instead of his family when they are saving up for Selma's restaurant. Oops. Okay. Cheekies here, please. All the cheekies to this area of cheekiness. Have you seen what I'm seeing? Have you seen what I'm seeing? Where's Charlie Rose? Oh, she's here. Why are you wrecking my house? Why are you wrecking my house? What are you doing to my dream house? Why are you wrecking? Stop wrecking. Max didn't come. Max. Max. What are you doing, you big bum bum? You have to come. Salma? Uh, yeah. Salma, what? Salma, no. Salma, no. What's going on, Salma? You need to get back into your beautiful clothes. See, guys, I told you. I told you something like this was going to happen. It's so, so hard to get these kind of things to go well. Because they just don't go well. Things always go crazy. It's just the nature of the game. So can we get everybody outside? Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I know how to stop you cheekies from being cheeky. Oh, what's that? You're now under my control. You can't do anything. 
that I don't tell you to. So get your butts out yeah. here now. And once you're out here, you're going nowhere. Okay, Emma's all dressed up. I'll tell you what, I'm just gonna add her to the family. <laughs> temporarily, you guys, temporarily. And then I'm gonna change her outfit into her beautiful bridesmaids one. There you go. You can't get out of it now. Roxy, you're getting added to the family as well. Don't think you can get out of this. You're changing into your beautiful outfit too. Nobody is getting out of this, you guys. If you can't do it the nice way, force them. That's what I say. Okay, change into your outfit. Uh, where is it? There it is. There you go. Salma, where you at, babe? Salma. Salma, oh, get here right now. Oh, get your butt down here. Look, they're all like just dying on their feet because I won't let them leave. <laughs> Can I add Roxy? Uh, not Roxy. Jesse. You guys, what are you doing? What are you doing in there? Add to the fam. Oh, I can't. I've got too many people in the family. <laughs> That's fine. James, is she added to the group? Uh, actions. Add to the group. And then can both of you guys get your butts out here as well? Selma. <laughs> Look at Salma's body. Like, look at her proportions. Salma is insane. She's insane. Insane uh, lady. Uh, okay. Rika, you can be there in your crazy clothes. Like, I don't even care at this point. You can be there. Charlie Bros, can you please come as well? Okay, everybody's looking very happy. Very happy. I'll tell you what. One last thing I need to do, you guys. You can't have a wedding without music. So, let's just uh, get a beautiful stereo here. One that's quite classy looking. I think this one. It's kind of small, but still. Pop that there. Uh, James, please, can you do the honors? Oh, James can play his violin. Has he got it on him? No, he doesn't have it on him. God damn it. Okay. Um, let's listen to... Where's classical music? Classical... Uh, appreciate classical music. Oh, Is that going to play some? Oh, there we go. Oh. Beautiful <laughs> classical music. And it's time. It is finally time! Renew vows with Clash of On! Guys, it's happening! It's finally happening! I'm gonna check out my live chat. Mitch and Woodger gives us another five pounds donation. Five dollars, no five pounds. And here are Claire and Ali. How cute is this? Renewing their vows together. Let's do it this way so we can see everyone. Guys, can you watch? Attention over here, please. Attention over here. I know they're watching because everybody got the plus plus Yes, here they are. They had their wedding at the Romance Festival. They've been together ever since. Okay. They've Adam always Nicola? had the best relationship <laughs> in the whole of the game. Huh? Huh? They've <laughs> always kissed and cuddled and loved each other. No matter what, it is just who they are. <laughs> and here they are, renewing their friends. Such a beautiful... There they go, guys. Claire and Ali. Vows renewed. A beautiful, beautiful day. Can we do some kissing, please? Embrace. I like to make them do all the stuff afterwards. My mind, it like cements it even more so and makes them the most beautiful, amazing, romantic couple in the whole world. This is not all this Okay. Guys, I'm glad that you're all very happy and in love. Because what's about to happen? You're probably going to be a little bit sad about it. You've been through so much. But you've been young sims for far too long. And now is the time. To make you into all the memes. So we need a birthday cake. And who better to make a birthday cake than the best cook in the land? Who just happens to be here right now. So where's my cake? Where's your Selma's signature cake? It's not just any birthday cake they're having, guys. It is the birthday cake. It is the Selma Rooney birthday cake. <gasps> guys are heading home. Guys are heading home. It's fine because I've got this whole ridiculously huge family. <gasps> where's Lilith? Where baby Lilith was here. I just want to zoom out in on her because she was so cute. Where is she? Where is she? She says she's heading home, but I can't even see her face. Baby Lilith, where are you? She was here, guys, because look, it said, it said, okay? She was here. She was here. But it's fine because not everybody needs to be here for the birthday. The, we've still got a really big selection of people who are here. Salma, it, oh, what? Oh my gosh, you guys! They're doing it again! They're doing it again without me! 
me doing anything! You guys! I didn't even know Sims could do this. The only Sim I've ever seen who's ever, ever done this is Claire and Ali. And they've, they've graced you guys. <laughs> Doing it live on stream. Woo-wooing without being us. Without me saying a single thing. They just came and they woo-wooed. Oh, it's actually a really nice fitting thing because... I kind of feel like when they're elders, I'm not quite sure if I want to be doing so much woo-woo-win. But there you go, guys. If there was any testament to the love that Ali and Claire have for each other, they woo-woo without me ever saying anything. And I think they knew it was their final, their final day. Oh my God. It's quite vulgar. I think they knew it was their final time being, uh, being younglings. Because they are woo-wooing towards the end. Oh my god, look at the steam coming out. They are woo-wooing to the end of their time being an adult. Look at her peeking uh, out! And <laughs> There you go, guys! Very, very cheeky behavior from these guys right now. Oh, guys, I don't want to do it! I don't want to make them old! It makes me, like, really sad. But I know we have to. I- oh no, you're not doing any cooking. No- oh no! No cooking! You're getting the cake out. Oh. Like, I'm gonna have to make them- I keep- I keep saying cook. I'm gonna have to make them old, aren't I? I don't want to, you guys! I want them to be younglings forever and always. But I know that that's not how you advance a game. It's not the right way to do it. Mr. Skittle says, is it okay if I use Dreamhouse in my sim forum vids? I don't want to copy you, but I can't think of another name for Dreamhouse. Yes, you guys, I put Dreamhouse on the gallery so that you guys could use it and play with it and see it. So you are welcome to use it. If you want to use it in your own series, if you just want to play in it, please do what you want with Dreamhouse. I made it for you guys. So it is for you guys to do what you want with. Okay, Peach refresher break, you guys. Ugh! I needed a peach. Okay, I'm just gonna do do some uh, little pausing. Check up on the charts. You, <laughs> you guys were quite happy that they did woo woo wing. Oh, too loud. Am I too loud or is the audio too loud? It was pretty. Do, make them get married so Claire's aspiration gets completed and then complete the vows. Please read. Uh, who do you mean get married? Claire's aspiration. What? Socialize with 10 of your. Oh, wait! Have four grandchildren. Oh my gosh! Guys, you remember when Claire's thing got stuck on see your child get married and it didn't work? It's worked! Her aspiration is on the next step. She can now socialize with her child or grandchild ten times and she's almost do it. You guys, should I do that now? I can't- oh wait, I can't have four grandchildren. I- like, Ali's- Ali's aspiration is completed. Claire's is nearly completed and I know that the aspiration has a direct impact on how long they stay alive for. But I think we're in safe hand because Ali's is completed. Claire's is nearly completed. She just needs two more grandchildren. And she has two. Actually, she has three. Sims, Maxis, why are you not counting Kira as her grandchild? That's not right because she is her grandchild. Like, it, she is her grandchild. So technically she does have three, but it's not counted it. But anyway, okay, Ali is up first. Ali is up first. Guys, I don't want to do it, but I have to. I have to, because one of the most beautiful things about life and moving through time is the things that happen, the steps you take, the journey of life. I know this is pretty deep because we're just playing Sims. But still, I think if you don't advance this part, if, if, the, if the idea that you can never get old and grow old with someone isn't there, then what is the point of life? You need someone to grow old with and... Claire and Ali have each other, and I have Ali in real life, yeah. which makes me really happy <laughs> all the time. And so we need to do the same for these guys. Ali is up first! Oh, he's blown out his candle! Is he gonna age up now? Oh, Ali aged up! Seniority, wrinkled bellies, frosty locks, and intermittable naps await. Party like the Reapers, not right around the corner. Oh, 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 His back oh, hurts. Oh, Guys, he, he looks just the same. His back is just a little bit achy. Okay, because they shared their life together, they're going to be sharing their cake together as well. Because it's time to add some more candles. Ali, you're going to have to mind out the way, lovely. Because Claire needs to add some candles. 
She can't get there. Okay, okay. Uh, Ali, you're gonna have to move over here, lovely. You pop over here. Oh. And then, look, Good even looking at Ali now, even as an elder, <laughs> she doesn't care. Uh -huh. Okay, time to blow out the candles. <gasps> Claire is an elder now as well. Did you see her dress go? Thank you for the friendly ghost. <gasps> and Claire is an elder too. Emma has sent Claire a gift. Look out for arriving in the mail soon. Oh, I didn't even know you could do that. So there we go, guys. They are both old. But you know what? They are still both amazing and wonderful together. Everybody needs to come and get a piece of cake for our wedding. Look at them. They don't care so much that they're old. They are still in love. <gasps> Look at Claire's boobs. Claire's boobs are gone. They are old persons now. Oh, Ali's still Ooh, very Ali. buff looking. And look, they're still very much in love. I think they're probably gonna walk a little bit different. Should we get them to come and sit? Ugh, ugh. There, there, I hate that. Get it away, get it into the dishwasher. There we go, always helping out my sims. Guys, can you, um, can everybody come and sit here? So I can see how, how different they look. Let's have a little nosy at them. Okay, they don't look that much older. Claire's body has changed. Claire's body has definitely changed a little bit, but I don't know. Please let me know yes, in the comments. Does their aging gradually change over time? Will they slowly start to get a little bit older? I can see some wrinkles on Ali's forehead. What I'm gonna do is going to create a sim. Uh, I'll probably do it in the morning. Oh, let them wow. have a sleep, but I am gonna go into create a sim um, so that we can see a good outfit for them as elders. Ali's poor little bark. Ah. Oh. Claire, I'll tell you what, let's make sure this lifetime achievement does well, okay? Let's make sure we can at least socialize with our children Ooh, 10 times. Let's socialize with everybody, okay? Give her some family advice. With your child or grandchild. Okay, nine. She just needs to have um, two more grandchildren. So, guys, I think it's time to send everybody to bed. Let's get them all upstairs. Go away, Starbar. Let's get them all upstairs and into bed. And then tomorrow, uh, oh, oh wait, I need, I need to get rid of people who aren't actually part of the family. You know what? They're gonna have to stay part of the family for a little while because if I just release them, I don't think they know which family to go to. So the next time I play in the city, I'm gonna have to um, invite them over and bring them back uh -huh. into the family. So got some more chitty chats. Uh, Chia Bell says, hey Claire, thank you so much for the vids. I struggle with mental health issues on a daily basis, but your videos always put a smile on my face. Honestly, like that makes me really, really happy that I, uh, that I know that I'm helping you guys, even if it's just a little bit. I know mental health is like the most complicated and difficult and hardest thing to deal with. Believe me, I know firsthand. So the idea that I could be helping some of you guys makes me so ridiculously happy. Like, you don't even know how happy that makes me. So I'm so, so glad. If I'm putting a smile on your face, I am happy. I am just happy. Please know that that makes me really, really happy. <gasps> okay, so guys, please let me know in the comments. Will it change their face over time? Will they get older? And I, I can't just release these guys. I can't just release them. I can't release these little babies from the family. I don't want her just to be wandering the streets without any family, especially because she just got a new one. How cute is she? How cute is she, little baby? I put her eyes back to green for you guys. Also, Roxy, she's not actually a member of the family, but she's hanging out here for a while. And Selma, again, hanging out for a little while. These guys are getting some well-earned sleep because they are elders. When I go to their life now, it just says the number of days they've lived. 261? 261. Both the same amount of days. So what we've left to do now is make them into their elder outfits. I need your guys' help with that. So please let me know in the comments. Uh, we'll do the same as before. We'll have some outfit suggestions and then we'll see which one works the best for them. So, Claire, let's plan an outfit. Let's see how you look when you're all old and wrinkly. No! I've got this to look forward to you guys. I have got this to look forward to you. But if I could do it with a life, oh, her body has changed, you guys. Her body has definitely, definitely changed. Like, if I just go here, if I just go here for a second and take it off. She's older! Oh no! <laughs> She's definitely older. Okay, let's give you a little bit more of a suitable outfit for an old person to wear, I'm thinking. 
I'm I'm thinking you kind of need some time, some time. <laughs> get get some tights on yourself, and then some nice little shoes. There, that's a better elderly outfit. But the main thing we need to oh, I can't believe how much her body has changed. I don't know, like, I don't know if her face doesn't look that old. Okay, I can see a little bit of aging around the eyes. I can see a little bit of aging around the eyes. But in general, she's done okay for her age. It's just her body. So, I'm thinking we need to start dressing her a little bit more. Like, like an old person would dress. That's all I'm saying. I'm not like hating on old people or anything. Don't you worry. Oh, someone's just left. Mitch and Woodger, RIP Youthful Claire and Ali. We will miss you. I love you, Claire. I love your videos. You're amazing and you are too. Thank you so much. You missed my donation. May 13. I'm so sorry. Double shout outs for May 13. Uh, but thank you for making me smile every time you upload and when you tweet back. And thank you for making my life worth living. It's a very sweet sentiment, but you can show off lots of things that make your life worth living. But thank you. I'm glad to be one of them. That makes me super happy. And I love tweeting you guys back. So if you don't follow me on Twitter already, follow me. It's Claire Siobhan. Voila. I chat with you guys all the time on there. So keep a little cheeky eye out for that. That's not what elders wear. Okay, let's find Claire an outfit. <sighs> one thing I, I know is I have an accessory. That is this cardigan. Okay, so the cardigan's on, but I don't think we can see it because the outfit we've got on. So let me just... Okay. I was... Oh, there's too much clipping. I was kind of thinking like a cardigan... No. Oh, stop, stop! Stop doing that. That a cardigan might be quite like a good thing to wear as an elder. It's kind of quite classy and sophisticated. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. But I thought a cardigan could be quite a good shout. Kind of like in this mm. red one. But that top's not going to work. So let's get a more more suitable top to wear inside i'm thinking not that one but that one doesn't have the clip in quite no because look how it rides off her body no i don't want you to... oh. <laughs> oh. i hate it can i get her to work out will that like improve her appearance a little bit oh she's so old oh, wait Russia. actually you know what uh, sure, no. That's not what old people wear. I'm kind of thinking, you know, that, that that shirt that she always wears is kind of good for an old person. I, I think it is. I think an old person would dress in that. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Take the skin off. Oh, it's the skin. It's the skin that's making her look young. I can't do it because I'm not on the right mode of cast. Bless so I'll name. exit. And we'll go back in and we will we will do that. Oh no, Lebeth. I don't think I'm gonna like what I'm gonna see on my you guys. You guys know. Imagine. I'm thinking just something quite like um hmm. sophisticated and old. Like like <laughs> nothing looks good when you're old. <laughs> I'm thinking this. I don't wanna take away like who Claire is too much. Hmm. I'm gonna okay. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna have to see how she really looks as an old person, aren't I? I'm scared. I'm scared to see how she's gonna look. She's gonna be so old. Oh, you guys, she's gonna be all old, but she'll be as cheeky as ever. That's the thing about the Calorie Akins. We get old, but we stay cheeky. Okay. So there's a treat that lets you um change the face and hair of a Sim after you've already made them. It is, um, if you type control, shift, and C, which is what I'm just about to do. And then if you type, uh, let's redo it. Hello. Oh, what? Why does it not let me cheat? Come on, cheating is the foundation of the game. If I can't cheat, what can I do? No! Guys, it's not letting me cheat. No! I can't do full, full edit mode if I can't cheat. You guys, I can't cheat. I literally, I literally uh -huh. can't cheat. <laughs> I can't cheat so I can't fully see what they're gonna look like oh no I wonder why it's done that I wonder why it's done that tragedy number two of the live stream is I can't cheat I cannot cheat but if I did I... Uh -huh. ah! <laughs> let me cheat game damn you okay so I can't see what their skin is that might be something that we save for the next episode unfortunately but i am gonna change the outfits because i don't want to see them looking like they have to age up they have to change the outfit something about them has to change i think claire's grown outfit is okay i think that at least looks okay gray hair i'm gonna have to change her hair aren't i i am gonna have to change her hair oh 
Okay. Surely I would die it. Surely I would die it. Please say I would die it. Oh man. I'm gonna have to make a grave. Okay. There's Claire looking elder. Ali. Ali, your buff body is gone. Well, it's still there. But it's all white. I miss them already. Guys, I miss them too. I miss them too. Okay, I'm trying control and shift, guys. It's not working. I don't know why the cheat thing's not working. Okay, Ali? <laughs> You're old! Oh my gosh, Ali looks up. You know what? It's not fair. Men look better as they age. Men literally just look better as they age. It is so not fair, but it is the way of the world. They just do. So there's Ali just looking great. <laughs> You can't wear those kind of clothes anymore now you're an elder Ali. You know? It just looks foolish. You need to look like a... Oh, Is that a bit much? I mean... <laughs> I'm not ready for them to be old, you guys. What's like a good elderly outfit? Oh, guys. Oh, I'm just, uh, no, Stelly, oh. stop doing that! Hmm. I want you to be young and baby forever. Okay. Uh, that's what Max's dad wears. <gasps> that's quite cool, isn't it? What about like a... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, guys. Is that that without the chain? I mean, maybe he could be a bit more of a cool grandpa and wear something like that. What do you guys think? Do you think that's a little bit cooler? Maybe? Maybe? What do you guys think? A plain jumper. A plain jumper. What, like... Um, oh, look at his trendy jumpers. What about just like a big old baggy like that? What about like that? What about that? What do you guys think? Just like that. I don't think he can wear skinny jeans anymore. <laughs> I don't think you can wear skinny jeans as an elder. I think more just like these kind of jeans. Imagine a full gray outfit. Wait, no. What are you guys saying? <laughs> no, no, no. You're trying to tell me how to do the cheat. I can't, I can't do the cheat. Oh, you guys are saying a beard. That's such a good idea. Why don't we get him an old man beard? Not like that, but like, um, just a bit more of like a, a grown up beard since he's older. If you can't have a beard as an elder, when in your life can you do it? I say we go full beard. I say we go full beard for Ali. I think we go full beard. I'm watching the comments. I'm watching to see what you guys say. I think we have to go full beard, you guys. Oh my gosh. The comments are crazy. What are you guys saying? Notice me, Claire. You're going too fast. Okay, someone's commented with a super comment, so I can see this one. Loving the live stream, Claire. So glad the wedding turned out so well too. You're an amazing role model and you inspire me to work on my own YouTube channel. Keep up the good work. That's from Snipesy. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. You say, um, what are you saying about Claire? Change Sim Claire on the dresser. It's still not going to let me um, cheat, you guys. I'm trying to do Control Shift C. It's not going to let me cheat. I don't, you guys are mixed on the beard, uh, but honestly, I love a beard. And if he can't have a beard in old age, then when can he have one? So here we go. I've noticed that Sim, Claire and Ali are devoid of color. So I'm gonna give Claire a, a pink blouse, a bit more of a colorful blouse. That's what I'm gonna do for them. You guys are saying different hair, but this is his hair. I know it's not very suitable for an old person, Maybe like this? <sighs> oh my god. They're so old. They're so old. Oh my gosh. Okay, that. You guys love it. Okay, you say that's the right way to do it. I'm, I'm sorry I can't do the cheat, but you know what? I'm kind of excited to leave it for the next uh, episode of Dream House. So look out for that, but just to give you guys an idea. Oh, the choker! The clipping on the choker! <gasps> I see what you guys mean now. We do have really bad choker clipping. Okay, we can't have that. Let's get rid of her choker. 
Uh, can we give her just like a more sensible elderly necklace? <laughs> like this? No. <laughs> what about just some nice little pearls? Just like this, like little pink pearls. <gasps> what about this? I'll pretend that maybe, guys, I've got, I've got it. She's gonna wear this because this is the neck, this is the ring that Ali gave her for her wedding. And then on her finger, she will wear the ring that Ali gave her when they renewed their vows. Do you like that, guys? I think that is a top idea. Top idea right there. I don't like that really big gold ring. I'm gonna say that they uh, had um, platinum. Platinum ring. There's Ali's. Uh, sorry, there's Claire's. And there's, I don't think those, <laughs> I don't think those boots look right on an old person. And then there is Ali's. Wait, wrong finger. Has to be on this finger. Nice platinum ring. <gasps> oh wait, Claire's is on the wrong finger in hand, I think. That could be her engagement ring. And then this can be her uh, wedding ring. And then one last thing I'm gonna do is change Ali's shoes. Cause I don't think they look right on an old person. Ooh. I think these. <laughs> They're so old. Ah, what about some nice boots? No, no. I'm gonna just leave him with some sensible loafers. He's gonna keep the buns and in fact, Claire, I think she's got the buns on under. There we go, guys. Okay, another super comment. Thank you, uh, Night Kitten says, thank you for streaming day. I'm so happy I was able to watch it live. I'm so glad you guys were able to join. So, guys, I think, I think we've got Ali and Claire looking old. Let's head back to the, to the game mode so we can see how they look. There's still over six and a half thousand of you guys watching, which is just amazing. We've been streaming for an hour and a half. Hit the chat, hit the comment box right now if you've been watching from the start. If you guys are awesome and you've been watching from the start, please spam the comment box right now. Go, I'm gonna be looking out for it. You guys are saying maybe Claire change Claire's hair to shorter. Ah, you know what? That's actually a really good idea. But it's taking quite a long time to go in between modes. So the next the next Dreamhouse episode, <laughs> I am gonna um I'm gonna take off the skin. So you can see how they really look because I can't do cheats for whatever reason. I couldn't reach her mailbox, but I managed to get it in there. <gasps> Should we see what Emma's gift is? Oh my gosh, we've got the bills to pay as well. We'll see what it is. I'll tell you what, next episode of Dream Dreamhouse, we're going to take off Claire and Ali's hair. Here they are. Oh, Claire doesn't have her, her new hair for her um, daytime mode. I will put it on all of the modes. Don't you guys worry. I'm just going to change her into a day look so you can see. Here they are, staring in the mirror, looking at each other. How funny is that? Look at how old they are. I'm just going to change them into their new day outfits. But there we go, guys. That was what this episode was all about. These guys growing old together, but still being just as in love with each other as they always were. Look at that. Cute little cheeky oh. pies. Huh. So guys, there we go. We had the wedding. We had a beautiful wedding. And we had a beautiful, beautiful uh, aging obsession. We saw exactly what these guys will look when they're old. Maybe this is how Ali and I will look in the next episode. I'm gonna take off their skins so you can see how they look for real. I am gonna make Claire's hair shorter. And we're gonna see what all the mail and stuff that we got is. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I can see all of you guys who said you've been watching from the start. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching from the start. I have had like such, such a good time live streaming for you guys today. Thank you if you watched all the way through. Thank you if you donated. I wasn't expecting donations. So thank you guys so much for that. I hope you've enjoyed the stream. If you're watching this after the stream, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Stick around because we've got Broken Dream coming up. We've got In The City coming up and then we're back to the dream house where Ali and Claire will get their final looks. So we can see for the final time how they look as elders. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the live sims episode. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.